clinical pathologist, what I do is what we call tissue diagnosis. So we basically look at tissue, that, tissue samples that come from patients and uh, give a report. From the point where the patient says, okay, I have something happening to me, maybe I can't swallow well, that's one of the commonest uh, symptoms for esophageal uh, cancer. They can't swallow well, so they'll go to a doctor who will do the endoscopy, find where that swelling is within the esophagus, and then take a biopsy. So the biopsy is just a little piece of tissue from where they suspect uh, there's a problem. It will come here, we'll process it overnight, take very thin uh, sections from it, and then stain it put, it, put some dyes on it. So what we end up getting is um, something on a glass slide, those little pink dots, that's the tissue that was taken from the esophagus of this patient. So then um, my job is just to look at it and see whether, first of all, it's cancer or not. If it's cancer, what kind of cancer is it? And uh, if I know which kind it is, how bad is it? I'll tell the doctor all those things. And that will help uh, the doctor who first saw this patient to decide what to do next. Basically, the diagnosis of cancer begins with the pathologist. They're the ones who make the call and everything else follows from there. Another thing we do is a screen uh, pap smears. So pap smears, the pap test, eventually ends up as a slide on the desk of a pathologist who looks at every individual cell to see whether there's a possibility that some of those cells they have become abnormal or not. Nearly every system has specific questions that doctors can ask for us to give them answers on.